Hi everyone, welcome to the Surviving a Creative Life channel uh, where I explore creativity in all of its varied forms because I think uh, creativity is necessary to a well-lived life. Today I'm going to show you a recycling slash upcycling project um, that just kind of happened because I was cleaning out my clothes in, in the basement in my laundry room and I came across an old sweater that I absolutely love. This is my, my old wool sweater. Sadly, when I unwrapped it and started to actually look at it, decide whether it was ready to get rid of it or what was going on, I discovered that it had holes in it. Holes, holes. <laughs> So because I love this sweater so much, I wanted to try and find a way to repurpose it that would be useful for me. Since I love the sweater, and it is wool, um, which it was a really high quality sweater, and I wore it for many, many years, I, I still can't believe that I wore something that was like off-white, and it's still off-white and doesn't have stains all down the front of it, which is what usually happens with most of my tops and clothes. So I wanted to do something with it. So I thought, oh, what can you do with wool to repurpose it, especially when you've got holes in something like that? So I thought, okay, well, you know what I always have problems with in the winter is keeping my hands warm. And then reaching out when you're trying to do something, like scrape the car off or whatever, and then your arms end up getting cold because your sleeve rides up and I have long arms and it's just always a, a, an issue with me. So I thought, why not make some long mittens, mittens that go up to your elbow. Well, that's perfect because there's enough of the sweater that doesn't have holes in it that I could manage to do that. So I also always have problems um, finding um, gloves that fit my hand or, or even mittens too because I have very large hands. My hands are very wide, um, but my fingers aren't tremendously long. I mean, they're big fingers. This is a size 10 ring, I think. Um, whenever I find gloves that fit me across the width of my hand here, the fingers are always way too long. The thumbs especially are al almost always really, really long because I always have to buy men's gloves, which are not designed for women's hands, even women who have big hands like me. So I have not yet taught myself how to make a pair of gloves, although I've read a lot about it. But I have made mittens in the past. They're, very, they're much easier to make than a pair of gloves. I thought, oh, that's great. We'll make some mittens. So this is what the final project will look like in some form or another, because I had enough here to make several pairs. Ta -da, ta -da, mittens. So these I made out of the sleeves. Um, and this is what they look like when you actually put them on. See, they go all the way up to my elbow so I can put them on and put my coat on and then when I reach to scrape the car or whatever, I am going to have this part of my arm still be warm. These are very, very warm. Like I said, this is a very nice wool sweater. Gosh, I'm going to miss it as a sweater, <laughs> but it was a very nice wool sweater. So, okay, how do we, how do we get from this to this? All right. First, I have to determine what part of the sweater I can use. Um, like I said, I made this pair out of the sleeves, which of course already had a cuff at the end, which made it a lot easier because I didn't have to do any kind of hemming or anything like that, and I hate sewing. I am not somebody who enjoys sewing. I'm somebody who sews because I have to, either to alter my clothes or to make costumes because um, I have a very difficult time finding clothes and costumes and fun things that fit me. So it kind of leaves me having to learn how to make some of them myself. But sewing is not something that I think I am tremendously good at, but I can do simple projects. So this is a pretty simple project. Take your sweater, your old sweater, your one with holes, one that you thrifted or something like that. And like I said, this is going to work particularly well because this is wool. So uh, a mitten that doesn't need lining or anything like that is, is going to be a pretty easy project. And wool, of course, we all know is very warm and this is a very soft wool um, sweater. So it's not going to be harsh against the skin like many wool things can be. The first thing you're going to need to do is lay out your sweater, 
figure out where the holes are because obviously you can't use those. So my first thing to do would be I'm going to actually cut the sweater up the seam. So here's my, my sweater all laid out. Now, if I take a look at it, I'm looking around. All right, so I had a little pill there, but that wasn't anything big. Um, here's where, where the holes really are in, on this side. They're in the back for some reason. So since I can't use that part, I don't want to accidentally double up my pattern and have it cover over where these holes are. So I'm actually going to cut that out so that I don't accidentally end up using it somehow. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to try it on one more time. So I'm see if that I'm happy enough with the fit. And I'm once again I'm trying it on inside out. Hmm. Alright, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around in these places where I have like these little edges that are thick, I'm going to trim them off. done trimming now I'm going to turn it um, right side out since it's been inside out this whole time <laughs> and it fits it fits it fits I have a very nice mitten now and it does go all the way up my arm and if I want to because I have this little cuff part that I used at the bottom of the sweater I can always cuff it down if I wanted to but now I have it so that it goes over my elbow and it's it's comfortable it fits me, and uh, I should have a much easier time when I'm reaching for something, keeping this part of my arm warm in the winter. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna do up the other one, and we'll be good to go. So here they are. Ta -da! Mm -hmm. Upcycling, an old wool sweater. These I cannot wait to try them out when winter finally arrives here. Um, not that I'm hurrying it because I'm enjoying summer a little bit too much. <laughs> but um, I, I, these are going to be great under my coat. They're going to keep my arms nice and warm. Mm -hmm. And I actually think they're just kind of cool looking. <laughs> so that is our little tutorial for today. How to upcycle a tightly woven wool sweater into a pair of mittens. Long mittens. <laughs> And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up down below. That would be very much appreciated. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.